Hey y'all, Kyle here. Welcome back to another video here at Ace in the Desert. So I thought for today, we will do one of those support your club day longs again. Yay. Um, as I mentioned before, these are video, these are blah, tournaments I like to play because you do get so many boards. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, hope you enjoy. So we pick up first, 15 counts, 2, 3, 3, 5, pretty clear one, no. Partner transfers to hearts. We have a simple accept. And partner converts. So we get a club lead, which I usually like to imagine is double 10, 10. Um, a priori seeing a high card as a lead, I feel like is more likely to be double 10 to single 10, just because there's more combinations of double 10 holdings that you could originate from. So, we're not jack double either, so, yeah, it's never going to be from, like, jack 10. It's, West has perfectly denied the jack, so we're going to hook the club in the next round. Um, so I think my play is going to go something like this. Put a heart to the king, heart to the ace. Third heart. This looks risky because I may not have an entry, but we're going to hook the club. And shed all of our spades. Um, I'm going to make 10 tricks. There's nothing to do here. Nine of diamonds is still out. Maybe they'll pitch it. If West has it, East probably has it. Or is more likely to have it. Oh, the nine was played earlier. I guess it was the king. King and, yeah, the nine was pitched. Wrong spot, but same point. Um, 13 count, 3, 2, 6, 2. This is a little weird because all of our points are so concentrated in diamonds, and diamonds is a suit that gets easily buried. Part of me wants to do something spicy, like overcall an air trump. <laughs> um, but that could easily get us in trouble. I guess a diamond, and we'll willing to basically compete to three diamonds. Just, just on our source of tricks, and the fact the king of hearts is to the right of the over to the opener, so feels like um, a priori, part, or especially here, at partners showing values, or partner, no, partner made a, yeah, it should be showing values, right, or is it weak? It's a forcing raise. I think we're just going to put partner in four hearts, it should be in the queuing. This is meta, do we have all the key cards? Partners void in diamonds. This is going to be retarded. I'm pretty sure there are voids in diamonds. And, like, they're going to take two quick clubs or something. Oh. Huh. Ah, what do you know? A good contract. Well, no. We need, what, three, two hearts? All my diamonds are wasted. That's hilarious. We hook the heart and we're home three. Oh no, we're not home three. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, come on. Actually, your diamonds might be useful after all. So let's play for two, two spades. We get a trump promotion. Four. Yeah, we can. I, th I think we just can. Is 
long as we can get over, right? Yeah, Lust has three trumps, so we can duck this if they don't. Oh no, West only had two trumps, they were four one. Alright. That's fun. Wow. Wait. One, two. Why did I think I need. I don't need a trump promotion. The hook worked. I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Um, yeah, if I had another entry to the board, I could take a rough. I could take a low rough earlier and make seven actually. Like if you put one of the if you put one of the high speed honors in the south hand, there could be a cool like trick. 13 promotion where the end position is the ace 8 over the 9 and 1 or the, the queen and bow ace 9 and the queen and 8 you know have, have it pinned under for some reason in my head I pictured that as the position but I had already stolen my heart trick I needed um, but if hearts were one spot worse um I guess if hearts are one spot worse, like if there was one extra trump out, I did have it in that end position. Because um, West would be forced to rough in because they did because they only had trump wasting a spot, and I could that's that's the position I thought it was in. Uh, all right, so we're in four hearts, but they've let a spade. Should be singleton. Don't think it's from three. Put in the queen, pull trump. Um, even get the pitch. Don't even need the club finesse on the fifth spade. Um, slight question if I duck to the jack of hearts or something. Hearts big four one. The big four one of stiff ten or stiff queen, I'm good. I don't think I can afford losing the lead though, because there could be a spade. There should be a spade off in return. That lead is either from, um, uh, you know, nine third of spades or stiff. So someone's roughing. So we just we just can't afford it. So we're playing for three two hearts. All right, so we're losing two heart tricks. Actually, we're just going to lose two because West, West is going to be in play. So they can't, they don't have a maneuver to get the clubs. So we'll just concede the Queen 10. And it's from three spades, which is aggravating because we could have double dummy. Um, figured we could have double dummy made a six, but. Anyone really hooking in that combination? It's hard to say. You can't go wrong if you hook the first time, but you have to hook cards twice. Do you do that with eight cards? I'm not sure. That even doesn't seem like something a beginner would do. Um, in a few minutes. All right. Sorry, interruption. Um. One personal interruption. Um, diamonds are to my left. Partner doesn't have values, but they could have five small spades or could have jack four. I don't make these rules, you know. Can part if partner is one point, we could have three spades and the ace of diamonds. So I think you just have to trust and lead a spade. It's your longest suit. Um, the perfect double dummy world partner, you know, if partner is going to have five cards in a major, if we're going to take the most tricks, it's they're going to have five spades, you know. Um, partner might be, is probably, is more likely conditional on the information we have to have five hearts, but we can't probably, most of the time, we don't have the spots and hearts to do anything. 
All right, so trick one. Um, speed of the jack. Okay, so they have everything. Oh, he doesn't have the king. Um, no, don't hesitate with a singleton. With real people, but the bots play too fast and they can't read information. Uh, all right. We do have the diamonds in a favorable position. The top seven was like count. Beast could have doubleton king, but I think you'd play low to doubleton king, would you? Oh no, you try to induce a cover on the board, so. I think the next blade I play is the ace of partner can't get on lead, because I, I imagine we're getting on lead with like a diamond. Partner does have five hearts, we've discovered. We can actually just pitch our diamonds. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ten, seven clubs? Seven, seven, three, two, one. We have four more discards. Have to be the hearts first. Some pitching down to ace queen, ace queen, right? Maybe I miscounted. Okay, spade, lead return received. Return a heart now, we get the rest. Can't imagine the Diamond King anywhere else. We hadn't seen enough of these points. And there's the danger of if I played the spade first, um, Robot could have unlocked and ended up in hand if that would have helped them. Wait, so. Oh, the oh sorry, there's the fourth round of clubs. That's where I thought East had seven clubs. That was like, what? That was the fourth round, so I was picturing an extra club from, from the north and west hands and east because I remembered I had one. Okay. Stupid things like that are dumb. Um, 18. Front up with a no trump. Could have a gorgeous minor suit slam. I think robots allow me to transfer to spades and then cue my shortness. Yep. So perfect bid to describe my hand. Um, and we're too strong. Okay, that is key card for this club. Zero or three. I'm worried the robot system will pass five clubs, and I can't, because, you know, you, key card for the minor should never be for no, um, but the thing is I can't correct back, like, in a major, because the five club response is at the strain, at the strain, not below, so I think I'm going to pretend to have a diamond void. I'm going to at least project three key cards. Um... Clubs rates to be a safe slam. We might be missing seven. We probably are missing seven if we have the suit locked down. Um, yeah, just cold for seven unless I guess queen third of... Robot's annoying. Alright, making seven. Unblock the diamond and don't even in the hearts even on side. Well, it's gonna be a bit bored. Um, I'm like really shoved in a corner though. I bid it the correct way, 
Bakken give me captaincy and not put me in a key guard position where I'm worried they might pass it game level, then, like, stupid. I don't think I can have one key card when I, if I have one key card, I pass we know, but the robot can't, isn't smart enough to figure that out. Um, so 17, that one, no. A spade lead. Um, for key cards, for tricks or in diamonds, we do need the queen of spades as an entry if the hard hook isn't on. So I think I duck this to the ace, even though I'm introducing blockage problems. Um, you know, if they take the ace of diamonds on the first round, I can easily unblock. I'm not too worried about like them. Spades running rampant, and they and I get an even. I even get an extra spade trick on this one. To West under lead like Jack ten fourth. I guess so. Um, diamond to the king. We really need them to take the ace early. I could have thought about that one a little more. Um, that could have been stiff eight. Maybe I wanted to place like spade to the queen and hook, but that would have been stupid here. Um, all right, can I untangle everything? It's the real question. I think the hook I need to take. It's funny, I have six tricks available, but they're blocked. Um, part of me wants to like win ace here, play speed of the queen, diamond, diamond, then play a club again myself. Or like maybe on the diamonds, West will pitch her spades. I could see that happening. So I'm worried about, like, queen. Because the problem is I might not end up in a similar, or duck a heart. The problem is I might end up in a similar situation anyway. Um, and this just feels dangerous. I don't feel quite ready to exhaust my club stopper. I see I can't get back. Um... I want to play a hard up now. If the hearts outside. This could be bad. Bad any bidding. I mean, spade, diamond, diamond, club. Myself feels. Oh, that's the wimpy way. We'll be wimpy. The ballsy play is, of course. The ballsy play would be hard up to the king there, but I can't quite stomach it. Um, I think fly ace if he had it. I'm going to duck and hopefully trap him. Nope. Ah, the ballsy play would work. It's too bad. Oh, we're still very friendly. <laughs> that works for me. Um, I think we're gonna do the usual and stop at nine, even though I am on such a freaking roll. Diamond, partner responds a heart. Take out down on my left, clubs on my right. Obligated to give the simple heart raise. West could have three small hearts. You don't know. Mm. Mm. West fleets presumably their double ten spade. So spades are four four three two. So West has a fourth spade. Clubs are probably five four maybe. Um, or West with a fifth would raise clubs to the three level. So West has 4-4 four, four in the black suits. 
So the only question is their diamond length and if they have a four part if they have a four part and stitch diamond this becomes easy. I guess cuz now I know which way to play the diamonds. Um probably have a double ten diamond. I don't see they have them having three. Probably have a Donaldson diamond. Which means I can't get more than three diamonds. So I think I play on hearts first. West it's to face or something. This has a singleton or doubleton. So cross to the diamond, I think low heart to the queen in case east has to face. Maybe that's dumb. Maybe I'm setting up a heart a diamond ref for him if he has a stiff. Oh, yeah, I just set up a diamond ref for him. Oh, but he's not gonna realize that. Okay. Um Let's complete our complete count on the hand. Ritz hearts are three two. Alright, so West is a doubleton diamond. If it's doubleton queen, that sucks. It's double to nine. But it's blocked. That's annoying. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't actually get us a trick. That's annoying. Um. Maybe East has to win the club and is unplayed. That's the only. Guess we'll toss our trick. Mm, there's no way to unblock the suit. I mean, 14. Partner opens. They're unbalanced. We have decent diamond support for them. We have our own self dependent heart suit. Solid ace in there. We jump shift. This is forcing, so why roll if not roll if it? Partner of it's three spades. Maybe they're 4 4 in the majors here. We did game force. Um, I guess even 4 3 if they have club length. Um. Then moving four spades makes the hand worse, really. Like King Jack four for spades is not good for us. Um, Ace of clubs is nice, but we want to hear like club shortness at a partner, or like we probably have a dead club somewhere. Like clubs could be seven two two two. I go cautious four hearts partner should be able to advance with cards. Most likely they're twelve to fourteen. Um, and smokes. We missed another good slam. You can sort of see why partner passed. Just their hand gets a lot less excited. Um, we just have a good fit. If hearts aren't, maybe hearts are 5 1, so we don't make slam anyway. Um, or a hard ref's coming. Play a middle heart for that reason. And use the hand of, you know, the duck. Oh my god! Ah. Oh. I have to rough the club loser and dummy. That was atrocious. Okay.
seven, three, seven, three, two, one. I should rough this low and I embarrass myself further. <laughs> Hearts four two three three. Sorry, I made that was a silly mistake. Actually, no diamond. You can't cross back in diamond, so you have to play for three three spades. <laughs> I might have got the normal result because I think it's typical to cross in spades and not play for three three, or to cross in diamonds and not play for three three spades. Uh, cause diamonds broke four zero, oh, so the 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 club loser might have been the same as the diamond rough. Uh, cause you know you have to play ace of clubs, club rough, and then you have to get back to the trump hand to pull trump. So that's actually funny. Um, I got really lucky there. I didn't. I don't think I lost any match points. Uh, so game four so for cheaper minor. We have a really disgusting game force. Nothing, no contr no aces. Um, just gonna give a gross race to four spades. That's I'm sure the worst hand possible. Um, fast arrival is the, what it's called. Not necessarily the best principles to play by, but it's a liberal rule most people play with. Um, I think we duck this diamond and hope to entice ace rising. West has the ace. Um, can pretty confidently guess that. Oh, they played it. That's nice. Um, any clue of who has the spade shortness? If I have no clue, probably going to play spade to the king, spade back. Hope to catch doubleton jack along the way, not have to guess, or even stiff jack I'd be comfortable with. Um, I don't want to lose three spades by playing like Spade to the king, spade back. Losing the doubleton jack, that can happen. I could lose three spades here. Um, or sorry, I don't mind if I lose. I can't really lose three spades unless spades are like a horrible 4-1 and I guess the wrong, to hook the wrong way. But I could, I don't want to lose two spades. I want to lose one. Um, so I think we're going to play spade up and see what happens. All right, that saves some of the guessing. And even the eight fell, so that makes things nicer. It's probably the doubleton nine of diamonds. They almost actually think East has like ace jack fourth, but they might have played low the first round because I would have played up to the king. So I guess we just play speed to the king. And pull Trump. So ace jack third. It's really a weird way to play it, because I'm probably not hooking the 10 the first time. I'm probably playing Spade of the King. Um, it's a weird way to play the combination. I question robot's logic, but... Um, Sport 9. Been pretty good tournament so far. All pluses. I like all pluses. Um, the only baddish board feels like 5, because we should be in the grand, or at least no trump, because... For whatever goddamn reason, um, there seems to be a tendency of bad match point players to correct slams to no trump because they think, oh, it's match points. Um, I tend to not think that way at all. I tend to be cautious. Like, if I'm bidding a slam, I feel good about it. Um, I tend to be more risk averse, I think, when bidding slams because I want to make these high level contracts. Um, but there will be some slam bashers that I have a lot of points, so let's go to 6 0 and, like, um, that's where it kind of kills inside to you know, lose match points on those boards. Um, here we open this is Spade. Our bids are no. We can carefully re bid into our heart suit, patterning out. Part of this double 10 Spade preference, and that's really all we have to say. So one, two Spades and get a club lead. It's a lead from length, we like it. Use the 10. We want to pick up the suit at some point. Um, the question is, is it free to put in the 10? It feels kind of free to put in the 10. Um, if I play low, they might put in the jack anyway. 
don't actually they really feels kind of free to put in the 10 um I have to count my tricks on the south hand because that's the long trump hand so like obviously we like to pitch our low hearts we can pitch three two hearts on the Ace of hearts, it'll be on, on two low hearts and the clubs will be worth it. Um, let's try putting in the 10. Okay, didn't work. Um, our speed shots are so bad that I think we want to go for two losers. Um, to protect against really bad breaks, I think we play a low spade here. Um, so there was kind of awkward. We legitimately have a guess here if we play the jack or nine. West would tend to rise with the queen, I think, um, here, um, playing low in the dark. So I'm going to put in the nine. Yep, okay. So we caught one of the honors. If spades were 3-3, three, three, we'll at least guarantee one winner, which is all we're really going to gain in the first place. Um, they've broken diamonds for us. Again, we need a pitch losing hearts on clubs, so I think we just accept the hook here presented to us. Probably not leading away, um, but you know, take or lose it early, and it might convert to another hard pitch. Is kind of the lesson. Hmm. I think I'm going to unblock the diamond and play the spade. Um, West probably is a doubleton club now. So there's no real point in playing the queen um, of clubs now, I don't think. Maybe there is when I never get back to it. Hmm. Think about my diamond. I might lose three hearts later, and I might regret not playing the queen now, but I, this just feels strategically better overall. To, really, because I, I feel like the, the cheapening way I'm going to like lose control of this hand is cheap is giving away cheap roughs. At least maybe I'll play a club here anyway. Um, and if West is like roughing cheaply, um, you know, we're getting uppercut in anyway, so we just go along and pitch the hard, maybe roughs with the ace. Yeah. Um, one trump out. What a diamond switch. We've ducked all we can. Maybe the hand with the last trump is out of hearts. That's really the only, and they have to play a diamond. Wait. Oh, we have all the trump, don't we? Yeah, trump are gone. Sorry, I thought there was a third... High trump out. There's only two because we got we got trick one right. All right, so try to do some misguess. I don't know. Yeah, down one. Our first minus score. Um, let's check Gib there for a sec. Down one is par, so we played it well. Maybe. Um, 11 count, we're going to open this a spade. Par to make this a symbol raise, and we can exit gracefully because not even everyone's going to open this, but we're not full. And good conditions, yada yada. Um, heart lead is nice. Um, 
pretty straightforward. We can pitch one of our dead clubs, dead diamonds right away. Um, you could play a round of spades on a good day and you know play this jack up and get a cover and hook back maybe for if the nines with east if like honor nine thirds with east maybe you can get one spade loser um if you like squash all the spots and guess correctly um a lot of times it is, is in the position so i'll take the the sure diamond pitch any day over that mm. And the nine was on side. And we picked up Stiff King of Spades. Maybe even Doubleton King. Um, and a nine spot. So no, we still have one loser. So it's like win-win. Um, wait, that weirds me out a bit. Some limited entries. To the spades. I'm here, BBO. Um, I've limited entries to the north hand now, so I think I have to lead out the queen of clubs and do a cover. Okay. Hmm. Basically, we hope he doesn't get a club rough. Right, he guessed wrong, so pull that last baby, take our clubs, and concede the last two diamonds. And made three. 11 count, best hands. Everyone has like a cap of 11. Partner bids hearts, um, which is a minimum, you know, like an eight to good eight, five card suit, lead direction all over a diamond. Um, the overcall should tend to be lead directional or values or to consume space, and you don't consume space over a diamond heart. Um, because we know the best hand thing, I think I'm just going to give a simple raise. Um, real world situation, it's close. I probably am obligated to give a limit raise. Um, but no reason not to do that. West pushes. So three diamonds. And now we have a kind of gut-wrenching decision. If we compete on... The law suggests competing to three, but with the wasted queen and one diamond. I really don't see, if you didn't know about the best principle, I really don't see how you don't compete to three. We have two quick tricks. I think I just got to close my eyes and do it. All right, this might be makeable. Damn hearts is surely offside, but it's a diamond, a spade, and a heart. Right? I know. Um, I know I can make this. Hearts for all. Trying to avoid doing anything really stupid. Um... I'm going to do a dummy reversal.
I don't think I'm going to rough that third club below. Or if that's risky. Oh, okay, there's Duck a heart. I should 100% make this. This is like... Well, this let me claim three. <laughs> Okay. They don't tell me if there's like a safety safety play. I know that's cheesy to do, but I was just curious. I don't get these kinds of like Can I just duck a heart now. If I play Ace of Hearts, the only danger I think is I uncover what, 4 0? Oh, okay, play the Ace of Hearts. I uncover 4 0 oh hearts. And I rough high now. No, I can afford to rough low. So I think I'm just blatantly making it as long as East can't rough the second round of spades. 5 4 3 1. East has at least one spade. What happens if I just duck like the, the heart now? What if hearts are 3 1? Well, if West has a heart, I think they have to have a third club, right? Got six diamonds, one heart. I guess they could have six diamonds, four spades. Well, they would have shown four spades if they had four spades. I think they have to have a third. Seven, three, one, two. I think I'm gonna play Ace of Hearts, rough a club low, and I'm basically in the clear. Yeah, because I can rough the diamond. Oh, they are for him. Yeah, now I just pull Trump. Three, six, nine. Shoot, I didn't get to rough the second club. I messed this up. Did I really fuck this up? How did I fuck this up? Oh, I needed to rough the third diamond. Oh, shit. I feel terrible about that. I thought so long about that. Uh, we're in vibe, but I'm not feeling it. Let's get this done. So I played it. Um, Mm. 
it's not in a happy mood now. Um, Alright, lose two. Let's go for four spins. It's a little aggressive, but could be right. Whoa. What did I stumble into? Clearly supposed to guard diamonds. Partner doesn't have any trump left. Only have a diamond rough. It's a little sad. We probably make five spades. On these black controls, do we make more than five spades? Partner, where is the hearts? No, what am I talking about? We'll lose two diamonds of heart. Okay, so we make four. That's a pain in the ass a bit. Um, okay, open this a heart. Partner bids one no. I'll take a roll on this. We have aces. I could be bid the weak club suit, but might be the same tricks. Holy crap. Oh, nice on the rise for us. Maybe we, we probably make four hearts. Which means I have to hope four hearts goes down. Or then it makes exactly three. What am I throwing off? Well, ducking this, I can. Um, does ducking it give me any extra chances? I think we win and take the diamond finesse right away. And hope there's the hearts break badly. It's very telling in hearts. All right, making seven. After that scary lead. Um, well, everyone except in game is getting a nice game, but we beat everyone in three hearts, I guess. That might not be terrible. I did take a gamble during that. Um, we can open this a club, partner negative doubles. Shows. Should be a longer diamond suit than four cards. Should be like five diamonds, four spades, and just narrowly invitational. We still come in wrong. Should be at least six diamonds now. Almost feels sad not raise not showing ace third, but I mean he should have won a raise of hearts, so just try to go plus. Feels like partner's pushing. Um Yeah, partner only at five diamonds? Christ. Why do I have to have three card diamond tolerance for him?
four one. Okay. Um, in the soup block. No, they can't. Right, we might make five. If we do, it'll be hilarious. I have the dynamite hand for partner just to make four. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, Eighteen count five five. Looking good. This is the kind of hand where it'd be foolish to like upgrade to it, despite the low number of losers. Be foolish to upgrade this to two clubs because you want to be able to show your shape. And ideally, the auction doesn't end with a spade. People, you know, the hearts have to be somewhere. People are more in balance. When they're more in balance, they tend to bid. It's just the honest truth. Um, past hand two spades could be a real, and it could be probably a really weak hand. It's more limited than. A, a past hand in standard because you tend to upgrade the top ends to two clubs, so or then buy non past hand, not standard. Um, so we're just gonna go to four. Not that slam couldn't be in the picture, but um, looks like we want to like hook to the nine of diamonds for over tricks, assuming spades aren't like five out. Let's test around the spades. All right, even four zero isn't terrible right now. Or four one. I think spades. I don't think I should just bash out on the spades. I think I want to be careful about pulling too many rounds right away. Um, I think can just get tangled. All right. We'll rough this. And we'll cross and hook the nine. That was a false card from King Queen Double, I'm impressed. And we have the rest. That would be the way to set me on this hand. Um, the one imps, a safety play. I guess I wouldn't pull the trump. I guess I would just hook the diamond. So I wouldn't lose. Right? Can I afford do? No, because I still get tapped with another heart. So I guess it doesn't matter. I have to make my piece. <clears throat> Pick a line. We've arrived on the last board. Um, it's been a pretty solid tournament overall. Felt like I was in the zone for most of it. I'm mad I misplayed twelve. I should rough the dime. I should rough the diamond instead of just pulling trump. I like. I had it and I just lost focus. Um, it's unfortunate it happens in bridge. I'm um, just gotta practice so that doesn't happen as often or ever. Um, but. I think there's a lot of bridge players that tend to get like really in their head when they make mistakes. Um, or, you know, nasty and, you know, bridge can be an arguey game. Um, we'll show a stopper. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit beyond that, a little more mellow. So, um, are they showing a real club suit now? Like, five hearts, four clubs? Um. The misfit and solid spots in the pointed suits. I'm just going to go for no trump. It's up to them to advance. Um, heart suit's pretty barren. Um, gotta say. We have five clubs. Four spades. I mean, there's nothing to stop them from digging, like, the top three hearts, the use of diamonds, and a diamond hook. Um, so I think we literally take off our spades right away, and then hook the diamond at the end. And maybe they pitch some hearts in the middle. Um, 
Just because I don't want them to have a full idea of the spades, I'm going to catch the nine first. Um, then we pitch a heart. Um, I guess we really need hearts to block for the over trick. Um, yeah, we need hearts to block for the over trick at this point. And the ace of diamonds on side, of course. Um, so, so we'll play for. All right. I guess double dummy if we know. Well, double dummy if we knew that was there. Um, we could have made the over trick. Ace? Ah, too bad. But we like to make our contracts. And it was a good game we got to. So, don't think... Same as the people in Five Club, so... Um... That was this tournament, I guess. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna try to see if we can get a tentative. I'm feeling like low six, low high sixties today. Um, I really do think like overall it was a pretty quality tournament. Um, the last board maybe could have been better. I don't know. It didn't felt pretty normal. Everything felt pretty normal except for the three hearts, I guess, wrong. Um. Here's our tentative results. Um, nothing too outstandish today. Um, the board I was beating myself up on, again, 44. Like, I've talked about this in other videos. It's easy to beat yourself up on boards that are actually aren't that bad. Like, so. Um, this we expected was kind of flat. Um, surprisingly, 14 was bad. That's the one I preempted four spades on, like, King Jack 7 fourth. Um, I mean, people are opening at that at the one level. Um, could have reasonably done that with 11 and 7 card suit. Um, but, you know, jumping in spades tends to show extras. The robots get really finicky about points, so without, like, an outside king, I was pretty hesitant on doing that, so I just preempted. Um... I guess maybe if you bid slower, the robots sell out to four spades. That's probably why it's a bad board. Um, it's kind of silly. I don't know. Um, people are getting to that game in 15 too, I guess, where we made seven. So it's too bad. Um, I thought this would be higher. Yeah, 57, probably by the end of the day. Um, not too bad, so I'm not disappointed. Um, and these are good practices always to play an 18 board set. It's really challenging to kind of parse together the different pieces of an 18 board set to really reflect overall on your play in a large sec section. It feels kind of fluid. So, um, I find this a good practice. So I hope you found it informative if you watched it all the way to the end. Um, good for you. Um, hope you enjoy these videos and look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Take care.